Hi. So in this question then, you've got to integrate cos squared 3 theta over 2 with respect to theta. So you might like to give this a go. If you've got any problems, do check out the links in the description below the video and you'll find some tutorials there. So I'll just give you a few moments to pause the video. When you come back, either fast forward to check your answer or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So as I said earlier, do fast forward if you want to check out your solution quickly. Otherwise, I'm going to take you slowly through it. Don't forget tutorials in the description below the video, okay, in case there are any problems or you want further practice. So how do we do integrals like this? Cos squared of an angle. Well, you need to turn to the double angle identities, which you should be familiar with. You may find that you've got this one written in a formula book. So cosine 2a, twice an angle, is identical to cos squared a minus sine squared a. And I've called this equation 1. And the other identity that you should be familiar with is this one sine squared a plus cos squared a is identical to 1. Now what I'm going to do is make sine squared a the subject here and that's going to be easy if I take cosine squared a away from both sides. You're going to end up with sine squared a then is identical to 1 minus cos squared a and I've called that equation 2. And what I'm going to do is substitute equation 2 into equation 1. And if you do that, you're going to get cos 2a is identical to cos squared a minus, and there's our substitution, okay, for sine squared a as 1 minus cos squared a. Now I'm just going to expand the bracket, and again, if you do that, you're going to get cos squared a minus 1 plus cos squared a. And I can simplify that to give me 2 cos squared a minus 1. Now, what I'm going to do now is head towards making cos squared a the subject. That's because I can pick up an identity for this, okay? So if we add 1 to both sides now, we get 2 cos squared a is identical to 1 plus cos 2a. And by dividing both sides by 2, I get cos squared a is identical to a half of 1 plus cos 2a. I could put this all over 2, but it's much better to just think of it as a half of this result. Now, if I let a be the 3 theta over 2, then when I pick up on this identity, cos 2a will be twice that amount, okay? In other words, if I double the angle 3 theta over 2, I'm going to get just simply 3 theta. So picking up then on that, I can rewrite this integral as a half of 1 plus cos 3 theta. That's my double angle, okay, when I double 3 theta over 2. And notice then how that half being written like this instead of all over 2 makes it a lot easier okay, when it comes to this integral. We're allowed to do that. We're allowed to bring a constant that is a factor, okay, out the front of an integral. Right, so we should be familiar with I integrating uh, these two terms, okay, at this stage. So if you integrate the 1, you're going to get theta. And if you integrate cos 3 theta with respect to theta, you're going to get a third sine 3 theta. So putting that all together, then that's what you're going to get. Now, you could leave your answer like this, not forgetting that plus c is the constant, by the way. You could leave your answer like this, or you could expand it out. If you were to expand it out, you're going to get a half theta plus one sixth sine three theta, plus that constant of integration. I don't like having, though, terms which are fractions. I, I like to reduce that down to a much simpler form. Okay, less fractions, the better. 
So if we look at the lowest common multiple of two and six, that's going to be six. So I can pull out one sixth, okay, outside a bracket, but put three here. Okay, so we get three sixths when you multiply this out, which is exactly the same as a half. And then we've got one sixth times sine three theta to give me the one sixth sine three theta there. Okay, so you can see that what I've got now is just one fraction here, the one sixth instead of the two fractions, and one term instead of the two terms here. So a much simpler form. Okay, so there we go. Basically, though, the answer was at this stage, but you might want to give these alternate forms. And as I say, I believe this one is the best form possible. OK, so I hope you're able to get that. Um, if not, at least being able to see how to go about it. OK, so thanks for watching. And if you like that, do give us a like and you might want to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll be notified of any more updates that I do. Okay, see you for now.